Hey guys, what's up? I'm going to be reviewing the uh, KTM Duke 390. Um, Alright, uh, I am a first time driver. This is literally my second day on the bike. I have bought it from the uh, dealer in Bahrain, which I'm going to be probably reviewing before or after this video. Um, you already know the specifications of this bike. Uh, it's made in India. KTM is an Austrian brand. Um, Bajaj own I think 40% of the bike. Uh, correct me if I'm wrong. Now this bike is the model 390, although it has 373.3 horsepower. Now if I'm not mistaken, 43, sorry, 373.3 cc and 43 horsepower. Um, I'm not going to be telling you what the rest of the videos tell you. I'm just going to be uh, admiring or uh, specifying the cons of this uh, bike. So, apologies if I say something incorrect. Now, I have to point out, when I got this bike out of the dealer, um, I told them to remove the, the uh, metal hand uh, grabbers uh, on this side and the other side. And I told them to remove the leg, uh, I mean, where, where the back seat, uh, where the person who rides in the back rests their leg. Uh, reason being, it just looks cooler and as a beginner driver, I am not going to be putting someone's life at risk um, when I'm driving. I, I just, I genuinely have around maybe um, three hours of driving experience. To which anybody who's watching this video is going to probably uh, uh, benefit from what I have to say. Now the reason why I bought this bike is because it looks different. I like the orange on this bike. I must say uh, the tires are a bit small. The wheels, they don't come in a bigger size. Everybody's been telling me change the wheels to a bigger tire. I'm not sure how it's done uh, To be honest, I never even heard of the tire manufacturer. So does that come as a con? I don't know. We're gonna know with uh, the tire mileage now the bike has gone 66 uh, Kilometers so far on um, this is the second day. Uh, what a beautiful day it is. I mean look look at that you know, I don't even know what those two things are, but it's beautiful uh, Anyways, uh, we're gonna start from the front of the bike um, things I like and I haven't seen those in any other uh, reviews um, I know with a lot of bikes uh, the headlight it's not a clickable uh, button it's kind of like one of those you know where you go like oh, my headlight is on my, my full beam is on so I have to close it but this in case of emergency or in case you want somebody to tell them to go ahead you can do that and I haven't found that in another bike so far on any review. I mean, because I haven't seen any like Honda CBR 1000 reviews or uh, actually 600 plus because I, I wanted a good starter bike that has torque, as per Kiger on two wheels said. I mean, after 6,000 RPM, this bike can go. Although I haven't uh, gone up to 7,000 RPM because they tell you not to go over 7,000 the first 1,000 kilometers. Uh, it's good to note that the service is at the first 1,000 and after the first 1,000 it's 7,500 kilometers uh, or one year, whichever comes first. Now back to that, this is the headlight, this is the full beam always on, uh, this is the horn, it's around like 6 o'clock in the morning so I'm not gonna honk the horn. Um, signal lights are good, you know you get your indicator and this is the second thing I like about this bike. I mean. The indications on this bike are like none other that I have seen. Well, again, I haven't seen much to be honest. But you got your like your ABS light, you got your check engine light. Hell, whenever it's time to uh, change the uh, gear, it will indicate a red light for you just in case you forget. Or you, you don't hear the bike's uh, revving engine. Uh, you get your gears here so you know what gear you're on. I am a forgetful person so chingy jing it from second to third gear and what gear am I on I'm gonna put a second I, I cannot even remember my name sometimes so this is good um, you got your mode where you can set it from kilometers to miles in case anyone wants to ship this out from somewhere you can uh, there's a hidden ABS button which I don't recommend anyone doing because this is one of the reasons I bought this bike as a starter I know I'm gonna fish tail myself at some point and this bike just tells me you're not gonna because I'm gonna help you 
kind of gay, but whatever. Uh, I like that this doesn't have kind of like uh, invisible uh, brake fluid uh, piece because it just looks, it just look, makes the bike look kind of cheap. In my point of view, obviously. Um, and this is the fuel gauge. You can open it, pop it up uh, with the keys. Now, I'm just going to go quickly to the back. You know, there is a side cover here. Um, you just pop it up and you can't fit much i mean the, what i'm fitting right now is the registration uh, and insurance of the bike in case i got caught um it is it is pretty solid i didn't close it right so i'm gonna close it later on I'm just gonna keep it open um anyways um back to that you got your kill switch you got your engine start now, another thing I really liked about this bike is the mirrors. The mirrors are amazing. They come in a diamond shape, which helps you kind of see your blind spot and see the lane on your left and your back. So whenever I look to the left, I trust the mirrors a bit more, which is not what they tell you and you shouldn't. You should always look twice or three times before you change. Clutch is pretty good. I mean, um, Anybody who learned driving a motorbike in Bahrain would tell you that uh, and the motorbikes they give you are pretty uh, used out. So these clutches are pretty good. I mean, I had the bike stall on me around three times in a total of 24 hours. Well, I got the bike at 3 p.m. yesterday, so that doesn't count as 24. But um, it's not going to stall on you much on first gear. Um, first gear goes to like 15 or 20 uh, kilometers per hour until you have to change so I think it's pretty good uh, uh, for first gear in case you kind of pull the throttle a bit up now I'm just gonna uh, go ahead with the bike and then kind of give you my recommendations as a starter bike um, the black here is pretty good it, this is the obviously the fuel engine I'm gonna be putting a vinyl sticker on this because it just looks so plain being black uh, another thing uh, regarding the bike, it does heat up. I mean, you're gonna start the engine, uh, you're gonna wait for uh, five minutes, and it's gonna heat up. Um, the good thing about the bike is <clears throat> the frame doesn't heat up. See, I mean, I just uh, went on uh, maybe around a 10 minute drive, came back, the frame is not heated up. I'm not sure about the rest of the body parts. And I know for the 2015 model, they have put the fan to kind of shoot the air in the back instead of your feet. Uh, something else to note, there is no radiator cover. I have mine shipped out of eBay two days ago, so I am expecting it uh, on shop and ship by probably by uh, four days. So I am going to be covering the radiator with a meshed uh, metal steel plate. Um, Kind of the back brake is not that bad. It's pretty good. Uh, although a lot of people say use it, don't use it. Personal preference, I guess. A uh, seat is kind of. I'm, I'm sorry, I don't have anywhere to put my helmet. But seat is pretty warm, uh, pretty comfortable. Sorry. Um, and another thing a lot of people do is they cut the back fender. Now, if you're watching this video, you're probably thinking the same when you get it. This is due to European standards. Please. Uh, uh, ignore the number plate, but uh, the reason I don't want to do that yet because there is an LED light here So if I cut this um, I don't know how the uh, Electronics of it's gonna be because this is a full part So a lot of people order this and I think it's like 70 to 120 bucks on eBay uh, I'm not sure about that any other reviews over the bike um, Looking at it so far, I think I really like this bike. A lot of people have been telling me, <clears throat> a lot of people from India are in Bahrain, so uh, they've been telling me, yeah, we know the K K KTM Duke 390, it's pretty popular in India. A lot of Filipinos, they have KTM 200 or 125s in the uh, Philippines. So I'm not really worried about the, uh, about the servicing and all of that in case I don't, I'm not happy with the service dealer, which so far I think I am. Um, anything else to note on this bike? I didn't like the headlights when I f saw it first, but because I saw how powerful the high beam is, I am gonna stick with them. I heard a lot of people say that there is kind of uh, condensation that occurs on the KTM. I'll know that by summer because, well, that's when uh, humidity starts to increase uh, dramatically in Bahrain. And I heard a lot of people saying condens condensation does occur inside the 
um, glass. I am not sure about the 2015 model because a lot of people have been talking about 2014. And if you have the 2014, you'll know about what I talk about the heat issue. Now, don't get me wrong, 2015 does heat up. I mean, I was stuck in traffic and because it was my first hour driving, I said, no, I'm not going to go through traffic. This is a motor vehicle, I'm going to be staying in traffic. And the bike started to heat up a bit. It was two bars under uh, high. So I said, you know what, let me just go through. I mean, it does, it does stick in air, so. Uh... Other things I have to say about this bike, the suspension is pretty good. A lot of people think this is kind of a semi-sports bike, uh, sorry, dirt bike. It is not. It's, I think, 70% uh, uh, street, 30% uh, dirt. Not dirt as in go to the desert dirt, as in kind of this dirt maybe. I mean, to be honest, it is made by Bajaj, so in India, they do not have good roads. So you'd kind of think that they thought that over and tested it on roads such as these. Um, now, the fact that it's made in India uh, is my next point. It is not a bad bike. I mean, I am not that kind of person that would be knocking on everything and checking the quality of it. But since this is my bike, I did that anyways. Um, stuff like these, what is that, you know? It's not, it's not aerodynamic. Um, but stuff like, I mean, this, this is plastic, this is not metal. Um, this is plastic, this is plastic. So, you're not, I mean, it, it costs in Bahrain around 2,700 Bahraini dinars. Uh, I got it for 2.5, to be honest. So if you're gonna go to the dealer, try to haggle them for that amount. Uh, that's around, what, $3,000? I know, a bit more, actually. No, 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 that's, discard that, that's not $3,000. Uh, that was around uh, seven thousand dollars, if I'm not mistaken. I I'm not very good at math, so please excuse me if I got the uh, number incorrect. I'll try to post it down in the com in the description. Um, what I do like about the bike is that the 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 R like I don't know if I can get my camera to kind of look at that. No, my focus is kind of bad. But if you kind of look here, uh, you can see the engraving of KTM on this. So they have done specific. Uh, touches to the bike which is pretty cool and if you're buying a new KTM make sure they give you kind of like a, it's like a kind of a folder uh, and it has all the part numbers of your KTM bike and other bikes so in case you're not happy with the price they give you you can order it online or through any of your other vendors I was actually thinking of getting in touch with a vendor from India to kind of get some price matches from them in case I get something uh, of the warranty, which is two years given by your Bahraini dealers and six uh, months on parts. Don't know what's the difference. Um, another good thing I like about the bike is the LED lights. They are different than your uh, uh, brake and back lights. And that's good because if people are on your left, they're probably not going to watch this. They're going to watch this. And it is kind of bright. I mean, they do have three LEDs here a lot of bikes like the Grom they have kind of like two just right there so uh, that's that's a good thing uh, the suspension looks nice they colored it in white so that's kind of differentiated from the rest of the bike the exhaust system uh, definitely needs to change because this just sounds like an Indian bike I'm sorry but this is the only aspect of the bike that I saw that sounds Indian um, the brakes are pretty good. I haven't used them heavily because I know the ABS is on, so I don't have to worry about that. Um, the rest of the bike is fine. I'm not going to be changing anything in this area. Now, two things to note. If you're cleaning your bike, do not power hose it in this area because this is where all the electronics are. I wouldn't power hose it anyways. I would just use kind of like a, a damp rag and just clean the bike uh, for now. Unless it rains or something, but I doubt it. Um, anybody living in this part of the world will tell you it doesn't rain much. Um, other than that, to be honest, nothing of the bike sounds Indian. I'm pretty sure everything has been kind of taken to details from, um, I mean, the headquarters in, in Austria and then given to India to, uh, to do. So you got, I mean, everything here. I mean, Stanos Raj. De so you, you kind of see that the, it, this is an Austrian brand and, and you're getting, um, uh, I mean, your money's worth. Uh, something to note for beginners, um, 
don't worry about the clutch kind of the bike going on it is not a fast bike although it has tremendous torque as I heard well not tremendous but kind of good torque uh, by the end of the third fourth and fifth gear this is a six uh, gear bike um, always check your bike before riding for oil um, for oil levels I, I don't even know how to check this but I mean YouTube it um, coolant Still don't know how to check that. I should have asked. My my bad. Um, stuff to note as riders: uh, always look to your left and right. Seriously. Um, today I was going on a ring road, and while I was holding the kind of um, middle lane, well, to be honest, it was the middle lane because I was going on the ring road, and I looked to the left, and there is a Corolla trying to overtake me on the ring road. It is a one-way ring road, by the way. So you gotta kind of get those people all the time. Um, always wear your gear. I mean, uh, I don't know if you can see this, but I got an Icon leather jacket perforated uh, so that the air would go in because it gets pretty hot uh, in a month or two. So uh, if I'm gonna be riding in summer, I need something that would keep me safe first and then everything else. So this kind of will get the air flowing in. Um, Windows are pretty good. Yeah, I mean they're not um, They're not bad They have kind of sealed the the wiring from the brake um, Sorry brake fluid so that it doesn't get kind of uh, heated up Everything in this bike comes to my liking to be honest. I do not regret buying this bike Although I do have to mention that I have uh, high-vis reflective stickers in orange color coming for the tires and for the frame. So I'm going to be cutting that out uh, in a custom manner. Um, that is so that people can see me on my left and right in case I ride at night. Always be safe, guys. Um, if you have any questions about the Duke 390, please let me know. And uh, I don't know if there's anything else I should should mention about the bike change the exhaust sounds very bad yep that has been a review of the duke 390 thank you very much for watching this is the manual yeah manual in spanish and english <laughs> this is the yeah. power wheel yes and power parts and this is the power parts power parts okay the spare key is already in your spare key yeah. Um, registration and a sticker. Yeah. Okay. So also keep it in the back. You can just go to the bike. Just yeah, keep sure. those here. Okay. I'll take this one with me. This is the bike. Okay. okay. Can, do you, you want to put the back of your back seat? Yeah. That like that. Will this fit? Yes. Yeah, this one will fit. Oh, else yes, you can. Try to close it, see if it fits fit. Yeah. It fits, yeah? Perfect. Okay. We remove those. We remove yeah, the hinges. Okay. And okay. then go here. This is the ignition. Okay. You can switch on. Okay. okay. This we got the kill switch. Yeah. Okay. You can turn on. Okay. And this is starting button. Alright. Okay. High and low. Okay. Flasher. All right. Okay. Indicator left and right. Okay. Okay. And this is the home. Okay. Okay. Signal light. And crystal. The kill switch, can I press it on uh, without putting on then if yes. I want to close the bike? Yes, you, yeah. it should be. You, if you want to close the bike, you should be killed it, kill it and put the okay. Okay, so, so far with it, we will see if you want kilometer or mileage, kilometer. this will be the RPM, okay. okay. The gear indicator, the three, it should be also in the size then. Okay. You can also display here if the fuel is uh, low, which low. Is now. okay. Low fuel will be in, okay. Can you put the high fuel? Coolant. Okay. We, we put away the fuel. How long will it last me the fuel? Doesn't look much. Maybe you can reach the next station of gasoline station there. 
at the back of denim all. Can you put a little bit more fuel? I don't think this is enough. Ah, okay, okay, okay. Okay. Okay, and okay. also when the high coolant, there will be a reflect also in here. Okay. If the coolant is high. Yeah. Okay. It will also reflect here the the spanner if we need the service.